The prophet says, that two dirhams that I gave you, I'd like it back. So, Fatima says, he's thinking to himself, what does he want two dirhams for? I've got thousands of dirhams, I'll give him the two dirhams. He gives it to him. Um, then Fatima goes back to his sheep. <clears throat> he goes back to his business, and not long after, he sees a lot of his sheep, a lot of his uh, sheep have started to die, and he started to become very poor. His situation was very, very bad. He ends up returning to Medina, and in Medina, he became a beggar. He would go around, knocking on people's doors, asking for help. Now, the point of this story is to show you that what will happen to the person who doesn't pay their constant zakat, what their situation is. Many of you might be thinking right now to yourselves, no. I know so many people that are rich and they don't pay their homes and zakat, like Shias. This, this, this is surely just happens to some people. No, it's not like this. So many times we see that these people, they've got a problem in their life, that you might not even know about it. Like one of their children is ill and they have to keep spending money on their, that, that ill child. Or they have a second or third house and the second or third house gets burgled or something, burglared. And then, um, for example, someone breaks into their car, or someone steals their car, or something, like, something horrible like this happens. And they see that the amount of money that they spent on this issue is more than it would have been if they paid their khums and their zakat. Respected brothers, sisters, fathers and mothers, Khums isn't just about a duty. It's not just about taking this duty off our shoulders so we don't have to answer for it, answer for it on the day of judgment. When we give our Khums, we're helping out the poor people as well. We're helping out to feed those who are hungry and to shelter those who are homeless. But more importantly, much more importantly, we're making that money, we're keeping that money that God has given to us, the sustenance that God sends for us, the halal income that He sends for us to live our lives in a halal way. We're keeping it halal so that we can have a halal life, so that we can eat halal food and wear halal clothes. instead of making it haram. And Salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. So paying comms is about keeping our money halal and making sure that we're not having this halal money. So many of us gather in Majalis and we say, for example, we wish our sons or our daughters, our children, our family, our wives, or our wife, uh, should be... <laughs> we want them to be good and on the path of the Ahl Bayt But many times we see this doesn't happen. We try to bring up our children well and we try to discipline them properly but it turns out that they abandon their faith and they don't do their prayers they, they go out doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing the daughter goes with whoever and the son is seen with such and such person the wife's going and doing whatever this if this has happened to you then just sit and think the money that you brought into your house, the food that the, the money with which you bought the food that you brought into the house, was this money halal or not? Did you pay the khums on that money or not? <coughs> it's a very important day today, and we're we'll gathered here in the Majlis of Imam Sayyid al And it's a very good opportunity for us right here now because this is what we want, because we want to all be guided 
and for our children and our families to be brought up well as well. We should take this opportunity now to make a promise to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. To make a promise to Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam. To make a promise to Hazrat Zainab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That we will give our thumbs. So that on the day of judgment, when God does ask us, so and so, did you pay your thumbs? We can hold our head up high and say, yes, we did. And take pride in that. I won't keep you any longer. I'll pass you on to our respected teacher, Fajr Azim. Allah, 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 Allah,